One day he called, he says, you're leaving tomorrow. And that sort of the reality suddenly become real. Every time I'm at the airport, I always get a little bit emotional sometimes if I have time just sort of sit down and watching and people, especially when I see people say goodbyes, picking up somebody and to see their loved ones reunite and all that. And I always get a little bit emotional about it because I always thought of how I left my home country, China, at such a young age. You know, this was uh, many years ago. The flights, you have to understand, the flights was not that this often. Sometimes they have once a week, um, always get booked up months and ahead. So when I was getting ready to leave China, not even, not even 19, I, I had my 19th birthday here. So is it okay? Is 18, is, is it old? I think it's young to leave home like that. I think so. If you leave college is one thing, but leave your family to go to another country to sort of start a life and career on their own, it's a big deal, you know? And I, w I was the only child. One day he called, he says, you're leaving tomorrow. And that sort of, the reality suddenly become real. It, it was, I remember I, my, my skull kind of numb for, for a moment. And I, I will never forget the look on my mom's face. I never forget it. My mom knows that um, it will be a long time before she sees me again. And I'm only child, keep that in mind. My mom gave me some money, said, go buy yourself a blanket. I guess for mom, one thing I think now I look back from psychology, point of view and I think one of the two things that they don't want to see their children experience one is hungry other is cold they don't want to see if there's possibility you'll go hungry or cold I think this is a two major welfare situation that parents don't want their children to experience so she said give me some money and go get yourself a blanket so I did that, and that was an afternoon, and I packed my luggage and I left the next day. And I never really had a chance to sort of, to really study my emotion or anything like that. I was, my heart was, didn't know what was, sup, I was supposed to feel. I didn't know. One thing I didn't have was fear, I tell you. I didn't have any fear. I was not scared. I was looking forward to the adventure. But this, this emotional sort of saying goodbye and, and, and realizing that I won't be going home for a while thing, it didn't really sit in till I was on the airplane. It was kind of in the midair and I realized this was going one direction and it would be a long time I was going the other direction. It, it was a beautiful journey. It has been a fantastic journey for me and full of adventure and success. Um, also setbacks, just all this beauty life brought to me. And uh, one thing that I do heartfelt appreciation for the courage of my parents, courage and a sacrifice. Which parent doesn't want their children to be close by them and have dinner with them? And, but my parents knows for my career, it was good for my career, it was good for me. And uh, they sent me my way. And I'm a parent now. Now I can fully understand what they were going through because it would be difficult to imagine with me parting away from my own children this morning. And my mom didn't say so many things, you know, it wasn't so much about take care of yourself, we love you, and, and not about a lot of things, but it was in her eyes, it was in her disposition. So, you never really know what parents go through until you become one yourself, and I truly believe that.